Building your Android application and receiving an error. JDK not found. Why you received this error? What What is the purpose of JDK when you're just going to develop an application for Android? You receive an error that JDK is not found. Basic. Why do Why do you need to use JDK? Basically, JDK uses Java Virtual Machine, and the, why it is required by Unity? It is required because it takes your classes uh, of the project and then it convert it them into the bytecode. Uh, bytecode is basically not a human readable format, it is just uh, understandable format uh, by the machine so it can easily interpret it. And it is actually JDK or a Java virtual, virtual machine, it is actually the base of application programming and it's related to Android. And now let's move on to the solution in order to solve this uh, as it's also saying in the console that you need to go in your preferences and then external tools you can just go into the edit and then in the preferences and from there you will see the external tool and uh, i'm also receiving a kind of warning that you're missing the recommended jdk so i'm just going to copy the path and then i'm going to file explorer in order to search uh, whether i have the jdk or no that i just paste the path and then i'm going to press enter and look it says yeah that this path doesn't occur obviously this the, the file is not there so i'm going to check what i have inside the android layer folder what, what I have so and uh, you can see I just have SDK I don't have any JDK over here so I have many in versions of unity installed they are there is another version so what I'm going to do with the other version I'm just going to go into inside the editor and then the data and then playback engines and then finally the Android players and you'll find uh, there the J I'm just going to copy the open JDK and uh, paste it in the current version of the Unity that I'm using that is open right now. So the path is, uh, as you can see, you can also find the path from the external tools. It is also given over there, and uh, you can just paste it inside the Android player folder. Once it's copied, uh, it's it's it will not take much time. You just go have to go back into the Unity, and you have to just check the path, and then you have to take the, try to take the build. Now I am trying to take the build, and uh, I hope uh, that this is error is going to be gone. So let's see what happens. Starting build, okay. Oh, I receive another Android in the oh <laughs> congratulations. I resolved an error, but uh, another error is waiting for me. It's like Android in the case not found now before it was JDK, but now it's in the case. So in the case, okay, uh, let's see what's the problem with this in the case. Uh, same, uh, I have to go into the edit and look for if it's what's the problem over there in the edit uh, preferences external tools and uh, over here it, it's saying uh, you're missing i i guess i i also don't have indicate in my folder android folder so let's check okay it has open jdk yeah i don't have any ndk so I'm just going to go back into the other version of Unity that already have Android uh, platform installed. So I'm just going to do the same. I'm going to copy the Android uh, NDK from there and then I'm going to copy back into current version of Unity and then I'm going to check what happens. It took a lot of time to copy. Once it's copied, I'm gonna come back. Let's see. So the NDK is done and it's copied over here. And uh, let's
let's go back into the unity and check again joseph is still just giving you warning just uncheck and check again and uh, it'll go away the warning and uh, this time uh, you have to take the pill and uh, the errors are gone i i did the same i took the pill and uh, i didn't receive any error further about the gdk and the mdk it was because i I didn't uh, just download it so, to correctly. I didn't install the Android platform correctly. But obviously, I have multiple uh, versions of Unity installed at my side. But what if someone don't have these versions installed? In order, uh, and if you if you don't have uh, multiple versions installed for the Unity, you can just simply go uh, for the solution into the Unity Hub. Unity Hub it actually gives you multiple options of how you can solve this. Once you go into the install tab, there is a, a tab like a project and then it says install. In the installs, you have to go, you have to check what for you. If you can see, I have Android, then the WebGL, Windows, the different platforms that you have for each version, it's going to show you up. But for each platform, if you want to add up something new, you can just uh, click on the settings sign and it will open up for you what modules you want to add. As you can see, if I want to add the Android, GTK and the SGNDK, if something is installed, it will not show you up, but if something is not it will show you that you can just take that and you can install it from here easily so it's not uh, very much headache now so i hope you understand it about uh, one more thing that i want to say uh, when you're just uh, searching for something why why do you know uh, like a UV receiver like JDK and the game and something like this M make sure to read about these things what are they wh why you need to use them explore and uh, enhance your knowledge it's gonna actually pay you back and uh, it's gonna make you things more understandable